outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy. Okay, behind me on the bench here, I got my Smith & Wesson M&P 1522AR. Um, I want to do a quick stripping of this and show you guys, you know, how to clean it and, you know, things to check and keep clean on it. There is one thing I'm going to say right off the get-go. Um, the barrel, I will not be removing the barrel from the forearm, the forearm from the barrel, because there's a tool that I need to build, which I'm going to do a video on that and we'll do another video on this. But I definitely just want to touch base on this and keep the gun videos going. Um, but I will be doing a video on that as soon as I build the tool for it, which I'll probably do uh, over this weekend. It's, uh, it's pretty simple, but it'll be an interesting video. And I'll show you how to build a tool to remove the nut that's located down here in the bottom of the forearm. The nut comes out, and then you're able to take the barrel and the forearm apart. But we'll get into that in another video. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick strip down of it and, and go over a few things on it. So we're going to hop into that. Okay guys, hopefully uh, this is a good camera angle and you can see everything. i got to turn this around. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the mag out of it. Just bear with me guys, I'm doing everything in reverse so you can see this on camera. So I'm going to push on the mag, eject. Um, nobody get alarmed, safety sallies. These are snap caps in here. These are training purpose bullets only. They're dummy rounds. Which we're going to cycle the gun once we're done just to prove that it works. But there you go, they're just, they're just dummy rounds. They're training rounds. All right, guys, I know you don't believe me. There we go. See? Action proving, firing dummy rounds. Okay, with the safety formality out of the way, we're going to get started. Uh, this, is, this is like your typical AR. It's the same platform. There's only a couple of small differences. And first and foremost, it's a 22 caliber. It's not a 223. And secondly, um, once I take this apart, I'll show you guys. You're going to push on the pin here, you're going to pull it out in the back. Now this is, I haven't cleaned this gun since I bought it, so it's a little gummy. I got a, I got a hit on the back of it just to pop it free. Now here you can tip it up and do a, a quick cleaning with, the, with your bore brush. And I got a phone call coming, but that's okay. We're going we're to get through it. Now you want to do a full cleaning. You, you pop the front one out, and now you can separate the, uh, the upper from the lower. So you push in on that. Pry that back. There you go. It's a part. Now you've got your your upper in your hand and your lower. Now the second thing different on this AR-15-22 uh, is on a normal AR-15, in here will be a buffer spring. This has no buffer spring because it's a 22. It, there's there's really no recoil. There's nothing to buffer. And I live in the great state of Connecticut, so this is a non-adjustable stock. It's pinned. See the uh, see the roll pin in there. So that sucks. And uh, as far as taking the uh, the trigger group out on this, you can, and I probably will, just because I like to take everything I own apart and be totally familiar with it. There's just there's just two uh, pins here that you'll pop out, and the trigger group will come out. But there's really no reason to take it out. You can pretty much get at everything that you need to clean. There's not much going on here, guys. So you can pretty much just tip this over, spray it out. Um, get yourself one of these. If you don't have REM oil, guys, I got uh, one of these little precision, one of these little precision lubricators. And after you spray it out, just throw a dab of this on, on you know, on your spring and your trigger. So you really shouldn't have to take that, you know, go too crazy and take that apart. So we're gonna put the, uh, we'll put this over here out of the way. Now you're gonna take your charging handle. Slide it back. There's your charging handle. Here's your bolt assembly. Okay. Now, once I do the other video on the tool, let's see if I can show you guys this here. We'll be able to take the whole barrel right out. Now, what you do? Ah, you know what? I'm going to save that for another video. But for now, we'll just we'll just assume you're going to clean it this way. You're just going to take your bore brush, run it through, spray it out, clean everything up good and uh, call it a day on your upper. Now, to clean your bolt, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to turn it over so the ass end of it's facing up. You're just going to push, push this together a little bit, pull back on the spring, and lift it up. Now the guide rod and the spring 
Here's the spring. Guide rod will come off. Now we can separate our slide and the bolt. Now that's not it. A lot of guys will just take it apart and say spray it and clean it and it's done. It's not done. There's there's more to be done here. Um, see all the all the fouling we got going on in the front and in the center of that. Let me show you guys here quick. Now hopefully my new camera won't make a liar out of me and it'll focus. I know it does. See the uh yeah. There's your firing pin. Now I like to take that out. I like to clean it all. And like I said, see the fouling on the face of it? It's all carbon and black. That's gotta come off. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this upper out of our way for a minute. Put our parts to the side. Get myself a towel here. Always keep yourself some towels and rags lying around. Just makes it easier to work on. Alright, now we've got our there's our rails. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just spray them off. Light coat of oil. Your charging handle is completely plastic. So there's not much going on here other than wipe it down. Your spring. This is pretty clean as a whistle, but you could you're uh, welcome to spray that down. Then your uh, your guide rod. Spray that down. Put a light coat of rim oil on that. But like I said, let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the bolt. As you see, there's carbon in there, and like I said, here's the extractor. The extractor is the only thing I'm not going to take out and apart because I've done that on my uh, son's Viper. It's a pain in the ass, and uh, you just don't need to deal with it. All this does is it extracts the bullet. It, it moves very minimal, so, I mean, that spray and lube, you're fine there. But the firing pin, it rides all the way through this. It goes all the way through to here. So that's why I want to get in there and clean that. And like I said... I show you guys. You push on it. See the firing pin in the middle? That rides all the way through here. So there's gunk all the way in there. All right. So what we're gonna do? How does that come out now, guys? Now this nipple here rides inside your charging handle, like so. This is what you know. It's when you slide it, it actuates the bolt, and the bolt slides back and forth in here. So how do we get it out? Well, let's see. There's a uh, there's a roll pin right here. So what you're going to do is, you're going to lay it down. This is why I like using the towel. Let's see if we can get a little magnification here. Okay. That's why I like using the towel, guys. Just going to take, put a small Phillips uh, screwdriver. Just give it a tap. Just keep tapping. It'll, it'll go through. And there you go. See, it went firing out to the side. That's why I put that there. I should have told you that beforehand, but. And then, there you have it. See inside there, guys? It gets carbon in there. You get some you get some fouling going in there. See it? And also, the spring gets dirty. You pull the spring off, clean that. Now, hopefully. Let me see if we can get this to focus. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. There we go. See, my new camera likes to focus a lot better than my old one. It's got gook all over it, guys. So. With that being said, excuse me. I'll grab another rag. You'd spray it all off. Wipe it down good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes. I'll clean it after uh, I'll clean it after and lube it all up. I don't want to do all that crap on camera, just because it takes too long and and people get bored of it. But you know, you wipe it down. It, it's covered in gunk. It's it's full of crap. Now putting it back together. Okay, guys, we got the bolt all apart. It's all we're assuming it's all cleaned up, and now we're gonna put it back together. So you're going to take your this little top part here. I don't know the, the terminology for that, the proper name, but that's going to go on the top. Make sure all your holes line up. Now, I'm going to show you a trick on how to hold your firing pin back in. And also, a key thing you need to you need to know, guys, is is like I said, when I show you this uh, this little notch here and the roll pin. Let's see from behind there. The roll pin is what sits in that notch and holds it in there when you put it back together 
But now, you see that notch, guys? You got to make sure that that notch faces on the flat side of the of the uh, of the bolt. So when you put this back in, you want that notch. See that notch? You want that face in this the flat side. Otherwise, the roll pin hole won't line up. So you're gonna stick that in there, guys. Get that lined up. Take your charging handle. I tip it in there sideways and push down on it. Holds it in there perfect. Just hold that down like that with your finger. Now we can take our roll pin, set it over the hole, and uh, grab the hammer here, and we'll be able to tap it in if I can just get it started, guys. Okay. Okay, make sure everything's going all right. Make sure you got some movement in there. And uh, and then you've got it back together. It's all back together. I'll show you how to reassemble everything. Okay, now we're going to grab our upper. And we're going to do the reassembly. What I like to do is take the... Uh, charging handle just slide that in a little bit let that sit there on the side for a second we got to take our uh, our slide and our bolt and put this back together you're going to take it with the, uh, the nipple side up and your uh, firing pin facing forward and you're going to slide your guide rod back on I mean your, uh, your guide back on now we'll take the guide rod with the notch facing the notch up top this is going to slide through take your spring slide this over the guide rod this is a little tricky getting this back together it's not too bad it's more of a it's a knack of practice slide that all the way up and in hopefully let me see if you guys can see this i gotta balance it off my fat stomach here guys all right now we're going to take the spring pull down on the spring hold on i get my thumb underneath here Keep it above there. Can you see this, guys? Hopefully, pull down on the spring and boom, locks it right in. Now it's uh, now we got it. Okay. Now, with this all back together and all lubed up and clean, now you're gonna take it just like so, fire and pin facing forward, drop it in, slide it all back together as an assembly. Now we'll take our lower. Dip it in the front hole, slide the pin in, you hear it click. Drop it back down, slide the pin forward, you hear it click. Now, we're going to take our magazine with our dummy rounds in it, do a functionality test. We're going to slide it in, charge the firearm, fire. Now I got these shell pop out, cycle the shells through, guys. I don't want far. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it, guys. Got all six of our shells here. Functions fine. Everything's going fine on it. So that's a basic, just a quick uh, demonstration on how to take down your MMP AR1522. Very similar to a regular AR. Not much difference on it. Um, just keep in mind those couple little tricks and tips I showed you on how to take apart the bolt and things that were going on in the bolt because uh, that's pretty important stuff. You don't want to screw it up. And always, it's always imperative. You got to have snap caps around. You got to you got to have these things because you got to be able to to check your weapon out without killing yourself, hurting yourself, or hurting somebody else. So always have. Always have practice rounds. Always buy snap caps. I mean, I have them for my shotgun. I got them for the 22. I got them for the 40 cal. Whenever I do a cleaning or anything, I always do a functionality test. So keep that in mind, guys. Always 
always check it when you're done before you go to the range. Now, if I did all that cleaning and I screwed something up and went to the range with it, number one, you're going to look silly. Number two, you may get hurt or hurt somebody else. So always keep that in mind. Safety is always first. But uh, you know, hopefully you guys get the gist of it. Okay, guys, hopefully you found this video informative and helpful. Um, like I said, it's pretty much the same platform as an AR, a couple different variations. But, again, use your uh, practice practice rounds when you're done and make sure the functionality of the, of, the, uh, of the firearm is correct before you go to the range. Safety is always first. You don't want to hurt yourself or somebody else. Um, again, I will be building that tool this weekend and take apart the, uh, the barrel and the forend, which I wanted to do that separate because that's going to be a little involved. Not really involved, but it's going to be a good video for the fact that I'm going to show you how to build the tool and then we're going to show you how to take it apart and put it back together. So it, it should be a two-part uh, deal because cleaning the barrel is always going to be different than cleaning the uh, the bolt and your trigger group. That's usually done with brushes and small stuff, you know, like a toothbrush, you know, small picks. Barrels on anything are pretty much the same. You're going to stick a bore rod down and, and clean it out the same. So that's why I want to keep that video separate. But that's going to be a cool video because... You need the special little tool to get it out. Smith & Wesson wants you to send it to them and all that crap. You don't need to. Um, it's a simple tool to build out of PVC. I'm going to hit the Home Depot, buy the uh, piece of PVC. I'll show you how to cut it up with the Dremel, notch it all out right. We'll make the tool. We'll take it apart. I'll show you guys how to do that. So that's going to be that. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Any questions or comments on this particular uh, M&P AR-15-22 video, uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching the Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.